Great Weather Bureau in Washington, D.C., we find the largest collection of scientific instruments in the world used in forecasting the weather. There's the wind vane, which indicates the direction of the wind, the cup anemometer, which registers the velocity of the wind, the aneroid barometer, which registers atmospheric pressure. But out near the city of Johnstown lived a mysterious mouse named Joe whose corns and bunions were far more accurate than all these scientific instruments. When rain threatened, his big toe would throb. When a cyclone was approaching, his second toe would react. When zero weather was just around the corner, his bunion would start to beat. May 31st, 1889, all was calm in the little mouse village near Johnstown. The children were safely tucked in their beds. The lights in the windows blinked out one by one, and the population settled down to a peaceful night's slumber. Joe, too, was in slumberland. But suddenly, all of his corns and bunions began to throb. <laughs> Storm clouds began to gather, the lightning flashed, and the rain came down in buckets. Like the roar of a great cannon, the thunder echoed through the valley. The skies opened up in a veritable cloudburst, and it rained cats and dogs. Run for your lives, yelled Joe as he sprang upon his horse. Run for your lives, run for your lives. The walls of the great dam bulged as the water rose higher and higher. The rain continued. It came down like pitchforks. Run for your lives! And all at once, the great dam broke. Flash the news to the one person who could save the situation. 